Hi there, this is the Burger Line and it's in the Riga variation of the Spanish Open from the game Getza Merozzi against Johan Berger, Vienna 1908. Johann Berger was more a theoretician and a composer and an endgame specialist, more so than a player, although a decent player he certainly was. He, in fact, lent his name to the well-known Sonnenborn Berger tiebreak system. So e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, and the Spanish with bishop b5. a6 sends the bishop back to a4, knight f6 hitting the e4 pawn. White allows it to be taken by castling. Black could play the closed system with bishop e7 or can go for the open variation with knight takes on e4. But rather than play rook e1, white will typically play d4 here, prizing open the center. In the usual Spanish open, the more conservative lines call for b5, but in the Riga variation, black very dangerously takes that pawn on d4. e takes on d4, rook e1 now, with considerable pressure along the E file and the knight on e4 in particular. Black has to support it with d5. And now knight takes on d4, hitting the knight on c6. But black ignores that by playing bishop to d6, eyeing up that pawn on h2. After knight takes on c6, black goes for this sacrificial line bishop takes on h2, which we've covered in previous videos. King h1, considered the best move. If king to f1, as we see here, then queen h4 is threatening mate on the move with queen takes on f2. Possibly the best move for white is the knight back to d4 with a check. If immediately bishop e3 to cover the pawn on f2, then black has the comfort of castling. Now knight d4, because the knight was now being hit on c6. Bishop g4, an obvious developing move, gaining time, hitting the queen on d1. And white drops the knight back to f3, hitting the black queen. So the queen runs back to h5, supporting the, the bishop on g4, which is pinning the knight on f3. And what can white do? White is really struggling here already, struggling for equality. Black, definitely in the driving seat. A logical, though inaccurate, move might be knight c3. I'm sure white would like to play uh, queen takes on d5. Try and trade queens. Rook a d8 supports the pawn. And now another inaccurate move, queen d3. At least threatening um, knight takes on e4. D takes uh, on e4 and queen takes on e4. But this allows black to pretty much gain a winning position with bishop takes on f3. After g takes on f3, queen takes on f3. Now the knight's trade, knight takes on e4, but after d takes on e4, it's curtains for white as the rook targets the queen and can enter into the attack with a, a rook lift maybe to d6 and then swing over along the sixth rank. So if queen c3, few checks, queen h3, king h2, queen back to g4, ensuring the king comes back to f1, rook d5. I mentioned before rook, uh, on the sixth rank, no, but it's the fifth rank, rook d5. Maybe bishop b3, but it's going to be over rook h5. And the bishop on h2 is going to make way for the rook to administer mate on h1. Maybe f4 can be thrown into the mix, but after e takes on f3, then black is surely winning. So this has been the burger line in the open uh, Spanish in the Riga variation. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.